Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So since we finally found out what all the Marvel TV shows are gonna be this fall, as well as early next year, I wanted to do a breakdown of everything. We also found out that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is getting a season two as well, but I'll talk about that whenever I post my S.H.I.E.L.D. finale video later tonight. If you're finding me for the first time, I do Marvel videos every week. I try to post them on Tuesdays, usually like Marvel Tuesdays, unless Warner Brothers and DC decide they wanna drop some bombs. Like for instance, the new Batmobile, they're gonna be announcing that pretty soon. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Also, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going on hiatus soon, I'm just replacing those videos with Star Wars videos, so Tuesdays will be like Marvel Star Wars days. Feel free to leave me suggestions for bonus videos. So I'm just gonna do a breakdown of all these shows one at a time, starting with number one, Agent Carter. This is the Peggy Carter TV show that's premiering this fall. It's already been picked up for a half season, meaning it will get 13 episodes. They haven't announced a premiere date, but I expect it to air alongside Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season two. That show premiered at the end of September last year, so tentatively plan on it starting sometime in September. Haley Atwell is reprising the role of Peggy Carter from the Captain America films, which I'm really excited about. In case you haven't seen it yet, there was this Marvel one-shot called Peggy Carter that picked up right after the events of the first Captain America film. The show is going to take place in 1946, and she'll be going on secret missions for the SSR and Howard Stark. That's the precursor of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because she's doing that at night, her day job is basically being a secretary, you know, apparently they did not treat women so hot back then. Just think Mad Men. Howard Stark is going to be a character on the show, but we don't know if Dominic Cooper is going to reprise his role or how many episodes that character is going to be in. It sounds like people are expecting him to come back, but Howard Stark himself to only be in a couple of episodes a season. It's really all about the Piggy Carter character, so it would be like Samuel L. Jackson being on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. all the time. It would steal focus from Clark Gregg and the rest of the cast. We will probably get to see some really cool 1940s Stark tech though. Maybe even some of that Lola Repulsor tech that he showed off in the first Captain America film. So moving along next, we have the Netflix series. There's Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. Each of the shows are gonna premiere really close to the same time as each other in 2015. There's no official release date for any of them yet, but expect them to premiere somewhere near Avengers Age of Ultron, which is May 1st. Each of those Netflix shows is going to get 13 one-hour episodes each, and they're going to dump them all at once, you know, House of Cards style. They're basically pitching them to us as four different 13-hour movies. They're calling it a binge-friendly approach. But the really cool thing is, is the stories from each of those Netflix shows is building towards an Avengers-style team-up called The Defenders. That's going to be a mini-series, so think of it as like a four-hour Avengers movie. The stories will all exist inside the Marvel shared universe, but they're going to be their own separate thing. You know, just like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. only crossed over with the movies very briefly. So we're not going to see Tony Stark in them or any of the other Avengers. But the events of those shows will influence what's going on later in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and in the movies. So there will be connective tissue at a story level. Personally, when I first heard the news, I got a little bit nervous about having to binge watch 52 hours of TV and try to do videos for all those things. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's so far off, I'll deal with the videos that I'm going to do for it later. But in the meantime, I will be doing bonus videos for the news, but like whenever they start casting people. That's still one of the big things that they have to do this year. I wouldn't be surprised that they announced who's playing, you know, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist at Comic-Con. Don't expect it to happen in Hall H though. Remember, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was a whole separate panel. And Marvel only has one hour in Hall H to talk about four or five movies. So they'll probably use one of their other TV panels to talk about the Netflix shows. I am really excited about Marvel and Disney releasing all this content on Netflix. So I will definitely be doing videos for it as we get more news. Based on previous Avengers experience, I think we can plan for each of these different shows to deal with origin stories. You know, just like the separate Avengers films established those characters before they did the big Avengers team up movie. Don't worry if you haven't read the comics, each of the TV shows will tell you everything you need to know about the characters, but the writers are always really good about laying in easter eggs for people that are big comic book fans. They haven't said whether or not they intend for the shows to continue and get more than one season, but if they're successful, I'm sure they'll just keep making them. House of Cards, for example, was so successful that they greenlit season 3 before season 2 ever started. I think the real reason though that Marvel and Disney chose Netflix to release these series is because there's such a limited space on broadcast television for new shows. I mean they already have two superhero shows and that's considered a lot. So obviously they chose Netflix which has an infinite amount of space. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to see a Peggy Carter TV show and all these Netflix shows? You know, personally, I'm really excited to see a new, you know, female based superhero, you know, comic book show. I know a lot of the fandom is also wondering when we're going to see that first female movie. And odds are on Black Widow just because she's already been established. So like I said, 
tons of stuff happening this week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I also posted a link to my master schedule down in the description. Right now, you can click here to get my Shield finale video, and you can click here to see my latest Justice League video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.